Hi folks, Rob the Plumber here. Here is my video on teardown of a solid state drive for precious metals. If you scrap electronics or just want to see what's inside of a solid state drive, this is the video for you. This is the very first solid state drive that was given to me by a client to destroy. I didn't even know what to expect. This is the very first one I've even taken apart. I noticed a difference between hard drives and solid state drives. Number one is the weight. Number two, there seems to be only four screws to open this up. Now a main difference between hard drives and solid state drives, in a solid state drive there are no mechanical parts, no moving parts whatsoever. The drives are extremely easy to take apart, four simple screws. Here is a simple suggestion. Do not take these drives apart. You will void the warranty. With my last video I had a lot of people message me, mad at me because they took apart their hard drive and ruined it. Let's not do that again. When you open up the solid state drive, there isn't much to them. There's a nice looking, high quality circuit board. And surprisingly, this circuit board is extremely heavy for its size. I'm going to guess that it's the NAND chip. This is a simple piece of aluminum. It can be thrown into your aluminum pile. It doesn't weigh much. There's a piece of stainless steel that caps the unit off. The whole drive is exactly like a logic board on a hard drive. It's got the gold fingers with fairly thick plating. You can see here just how thick. And here's the difference between a logic board and a solid state drive. Look at the chips. They are just packed on there. And where there are chips, there are precious metals. These are monolithic ceramic capacitors. On data devices, you can expect to find palladium, platinum, and silver in these guys. And the black ones, rhodium. Be careful though, from what looks afar to be gold is actually copper. But there is nothing wrong with copper. Copper is actually the main metal I'm after. Almost all the solder is tin based, but on the bottom side of the NAND chips, I did find some low quality silver. Now of course I don't know what every chip is, but a closer look revealed that this chip is just loaded with gold. Here are the gold test pads. You can see just how good the manufacturers are at plating the gold very, very thin. Here is the Intel CPU. Yes, a CPU. They use CPUs on these boards to evenly distribute the data amongst all the NAND chips evenly to extend the life of the drive. You could tell it's a CPU by these monolithic ceramic capacitors on the other side of the board. Now, does this chip look familiar? It should. It's actually a RAM chip. The exact same RAM chips that are found on all RAM sticks, found at every single computer. Now of course when it comes to RAM chips we are looking for the gold bonding wires that are underneath the plastic caps. Here are the NAND chips. These are the chips where data is actually stored. There is going to be high quality metals inside of these chips. Definitely gold bonding wires. From what I could see on the data sheets Gold is going to be the main metal that we're interested in here, but I could tell by the weight that these do have value. I am actually going to try to decap these chips and make a video on them. In closing, you're probably going to take these solid state drives apart, take the board and throw it in with the rest of your logic boards from hard drives or your RAN chips for further processing. I definitely need to get a few more of these solid state drives so that I can process them further and actually see how much value is in these drives. Now they're expensive to buy so I would imagine they're expensive to manufacture due to the precious metal content. I will definitely be making future videos on the topic. If you enjoyed the video and the pictures, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm Rob the Plumber, thanks for watching.